Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about, like the screen says, taint and toleration. So I'll give you a very short uh, theory about taint and toleration, and then we'll go into our Kubernetes cluster and see them in practical, right? So taint and toleration are some very similar to node affinity. It's just that they are just the opposite. So like node affinity is a pod property. If you know that attracts a particular set of pod, to a particular set of nodes, right? Similarly, taint is just opposite, but it's a node property. So suppose if we have say a couple of nodes in our cluster, right? Say this is node one, node two, and node three. And then we have a few pods, right? And if a particular node, say node one, has some taint right and node 3 also has a taint so we'll see how we put a taint on a particular node so all these pods once when they the schedulers try to schedule them on node 1 or node 3 they get repelled right because if and they get repelled only if they don't have something called toleration for this particular taint, right? So if they don't have toleration for this particular taint, they will get repelled and will be scheduled on node two, right? Similarly, everything would happen for the same, all these parts. So that's what taint and toleration is. So one thing I would uh, like to tell you uh, that, have you ever noticed that why parts, I mean, by default, I'm talking about by default, pods don't get scheduled on master node. Have you ever noticed this? So whenever we, I mean, in our all videos also, when we schedule, we create a deployment, we create replica set, none of the pods go and get scheduled on master node. They go and get, I mean, scheduled or they get go and run on worker nodes, right? This is because we'll check also master node has a taint applied to it. So when you create a cluster, there's already a taint exist on master node, right? So we'll see that also. All right. So now we'll just go into our uh, uh, cluster and see taint and toleration in practice. All right. So now we are in our Kubernetes master. So first thing I'm going to show you the taint on the Kubernetes master and why no pod is scheduled on the master itself, right? So let's just do kubectl describe node master uh, master, and we'll prep for something called taints. So you can see the taints has a value of node role kubernetes.io master and this is a property which is set on this particular node no schedule so there are three properties which exist in um, when you are i mean using taint and toleration the first is no schedule the second is preferred no schedule and the third one is no execute so when you set no schedule on any node uh, any new pods which you try to schedule on that particular node will not be scheduled, but any existing pod, they'll, they'll stay, right? They'll st continue to stay on that particular node. Preferred no schedule is as good as no schedule. Uh, Kubernetes will try its level best not to schedule any pods on that uh, particular node if the property is set to preferred schedule. But if, say, suppose you have just one node in your cluster, uh, Kubernetes will have no other option but to schedule pods on that particular node, right? So it's just like the best effort. No execute is the property when, I mean, when you set no execute on a particular node uh, as uh, the taint property, any existing pods would also be evicted, right? So just remember that. So if you have any pods running on that particular node, th those also would be evicted if they don't have toleration, right? So just keep 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 in mind this property. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to taint one of my nodes. First, we'll check if they have any taint existing or not. So 
kubectl describe nodes worker one first we'll do worker one right so there is no taint and then i'm going to do worker two so no taint so you can see there are no taints right so let's taint our worker one and let's make him uh, say thor right superhero thor so you ctl taint node worker one and now i have to provide it a key value pair and the property so let's call it name equal thor and property would be no schedule right let's skip so you can see my worker one node is tainted let's confirm this so taint exists name equal thor and the property is no schedule all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a deployment kubectl create deployment and the name of the deployment will keep as Thanos because Thanos was killed by Thor if you all remember right so Thanos and then what I'm going to do is image would be our favorite nginx and number of replicas we'll keep number of replicas as three because we would want the replicas to go on multiple nodes right but we will see that all the replicas will be scheduled on one particular node which is worker 2 because we don't have uh, any taint on worker 2 right remember that so let's run this and now if i do kubectl get not nodes pods and we want the wider version So you can see it created three pods and all of them have gone on worker 2. So you can see that Thanos is actually, I mean, does not have any toleration for Thor, right? Cool. So one property we have verified. Now let's put a toleration on a particular, uh, we'll create a new deployment. We'll put some toleration on that and see if that goes on worker 1 or not. Right, let me clear the screen so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another deployment deploy what i'm doing kubectl why am i doing every time kubc it should be kube right kubectl create deployments and this time we'll name this deployment as loki because loki had a lot of toleration for thor and he had him in trouble a lot of time right so loki and then again image would be nginx replicas would be three and we don't want to create it as of now we just want the yaml file so dry run and we'll redirect it to say loki dot yaml now we'll go inside loki dot yaml get rid of things which we don't need we don't need this no sorry we need that we don't need this we don't need this right so now I'm going to add a toleration in the pod spec, right, under the template. And the way to add toleration is very simple. You just do tolerations, right, not equal to, not zero, but a hyphen. Key, 
and all these the values which you provide for these key value pair the values would be in double quote just remember that right so key would be name operator would be equal so it's very similar to what we did for node definitely if you remember right operator equal value it's values or value i don't remember we'll get to know values would be thought and effect so there's one additional property effect and the effect which we set on the node was no schedule right so now we have set a toleration on this particular deployment where it finds the key as name and the value as thor and the effect as no schedule right so now, now let's just save this let me get the screen and let's do kubectl apply Let's see if we haven't made any mistake to loki.yaml and yes, I think it was not values and it was value. All right, so let's just go there. Fix the typo. Clear the screen again and let's try it again. So, all right, my deployment is created. Now let's look at, again, why I don't know why I press C before E, kubectl, get pods. And we need the wider look. So this time our Loki pods, as you can see, out of three, two have gone on worker one, right? So my Loki pod is actually tolerate, I mean, it, it's tolerant towards Thor and it's, it got, got scheduled on worker one, which had attained, right? Cool. So yeah, this is all I wanted to show you for this video, taint and toleration. I hope you understood the concept, right? Okay. So yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And yep. Thank you for watching.